All right, hello, welcome back, everybody. We're playing more Killer Frequency with figuring out what the hell's going on. Okay, so let's see. Ant Williams, Chuck Brody, Rebecca Allen, Kim Walker. <clears throat> Chuck Brody. A big wheel broke for you. The support and rule through town. And yeah, more on page 12. That Kim Walker. Staff surge. Lead engineer responsible for Galaxy Harvest. For six, I will. Well, I turned mine into a career. Okay. Is your car safe? More citizens, especially for multiple car thefts, crime wave is seven. Stop, I can assure you, we must work together to bring down this criminal organization. 24 hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. Christine's gas. Only won lottery 14 years ago. Clients will keep me busy this evening. Wait a minute. There was something about a lottery ticket. Yeah. Captain Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody? Gas station. Chuck Brody got a gas station. He got, uh, can I grab one? Thank you. He got a gas station. Where is it? Um, uh, the gas station. Share for sale cheap. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I almost sold a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer in Louis Vuitton. I said, but I don't want to get it. Please buy it. So some... Who is this? Looks like a Chuck Brody. Aunt Williams. So you did all this. This is all you, Chuck. Aunt, whatever. R.A. Rebecca Allen. So that means that must be you. Is your car safe? Local legend goes to Manhattan. Ah. Started to struck Gallus Creek yesterday afternoon after a bus failed to stop and crashed in a fuel tanker. Cease have been defined. Local doctor. Miss Case died. Ah, so. Trailer park goes to you. Hospital goes to you. Power station goes to you. How am I supposed to be do what am I doing here? Uh, hold on, I think I can talk to Peggy. How's it going? I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Let's do it. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, name first. Who do you think the target is? Let's see. Power station. 
And then there was a hospital. Ah, hospital. Uh, we'll say Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Probably the gas station. The gas station. station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Come on, Chucky boy! Oh! Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it, and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Quit talking and run! I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Hello? Oh, Chuck? yeah, baby! Chuck. Forrest! There's no whole goddamn gas station's got up! Ooh. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me! I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost it. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Uh, just because you asked for it, lady, here you go. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The Scream. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I'm gonna come back. She's just to either gonna be calls. dead or gone. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, okay, bye. Bye, lady. I go search in basement for creepies. If something is gonna happen in this fucking basement, it's gonna happen. So, yeah. Either the killer's gonna find me and kill me, or I'm gonna manage to get away from him and somehow lock him in the basement. I doubt it, but we shall see. Hmm. A key? Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought uh, everything upstairs. Someone came in here after I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's been in here. Someone has been fucking in this room. Or in that room. No one can be in here, right? Yeah, no, it's just full of supplies. Give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss Jesus it. Jesus fucking Christ, woman. Okay, so I gotta do shit in here. What's this? Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? 
Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. It's a tape recorder. says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful for us. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Mm, tape recorder right here. Oh, this just screams useful. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. What's this? Hold on. What's this? Keep it. Starling system security manual. Neat. Why does he have that? Get out of my face. What's this? Delivery note. Starling security. Huh. Opted for manual inst- Oh no, we don't have a fucking security system. Oh, that's- that's great. Thanks, Reggie! Thanks a lot, buddy. I must have passed it. Ah. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage mm -hmm. and ear blistering to the feet. As okay. though the deceased had been running without stop. Well, if he's running for his life, it kind of makes sense, don't it? Results shows no signs of inebriation. However, I can't see this. Ah. Okay. But how's his glutes looking? So someone did a die. What these? Neat. Hey. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his ask. life and was chased, resulting in a fall. I'm sorry, I made you do this, Richard. Where he hit his head, was knocked out. And drowned. Following that, he was moved. Drop this off. We need to have a talk. Open that recording. Shut it off. Hello, Satan. Hold on. Humpy Dumpy. Mmm. Wait a minute, Maisie Cartwright, George Barrow is Henry, along with Mary Campbell is Anne. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. 
What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection. Hey! So the killer started out and worked their way back? Is that what you're saying? You did a terrible job. I helped. You did nothing. Reggie is silencing that? No, Reggie wouldn't silence it. Someone has to be someone with influence. If they're trying to shut something up. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Hey, Peggy. Wibbly things are happening at Wobbly Woe. Ah. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean... Just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Run to Spraying through trees and bushes. Getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? You know what? Everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What did it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with the report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. Hmm. The body? How weird. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing He won't mind if I throw shit around since... George's death. He left this behind in case he died. 
He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I yeah, know. I know. Ain't it great? Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. How dare you, bitch? You shameful you harlot. everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Do you think maybe the person there's a person close to Clive, like a family member or a brother? <coughs> and there. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. What's up, bitch? Fredman Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Goose. It's the goose. Plunker, hey, it's the radio man, Forrest Nash. Radio man? <coughs> What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, right, the huge. Right, right, right He's Bunker, got the what you. What are you doing at Virginia's house? She asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. <laughs> the whistling so we're turd. We're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, oh, <laughs> it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, Radio Man. <gasps> I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm. I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. You haven't enough, haven't had enough booze. Sorry to hear that, but listen, hey, we need to talk. What about? We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Uh, Clive. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No, I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier mm -hmm. when you called us the first time. Tell us your secrets, woman. What I said then? I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. Um. Why are you, Why so, are you certain? so certain Clive's the whistling man? Because he. All those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he. Well. And. We found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Not before no, he made a sneaky Xerox. He kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. 
Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. Mm-hmm. And as I finished the autopsy... Let's come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. Just burst in. I see you shiver with anticipation. Give over the reports to Man. falsify what I found. Of course, I said. But no. maybe the rain. Well, when someone wants to is it really to blame? They can so I will the remove the cause. The <laughs> For me, he used both. But not see, the symptom. <laughs> Sorry, I lost myself to some rocky horror for a moment. Promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment. Wow, your employer. If I did what he said. Wow. And if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. That's extortion. Why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. Damn it! You have to understand. No. She needed me. We understand. Speak for yourself, Peggy. Thank you, Virginia. But yeah, it's fine. I'll I'll God, I'll agree as I long as it keeps you talking. End. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. So Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? We could try Sandra. What would Sandra know? I don't know, but we have to start somewhere. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. That's on the other side of town. She was close to the exploding gas station. Aha, uh -huh. Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is it? Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Hello Studio. Hello Jazz Pizzazz Jazz. This is Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying <laughs> to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. My forest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. I'm sorry, I was mentally killing myself. Uh, why were you targeted? Uh, yeah, why were you, you targeted? Let's just get straight to it. Might have targeted you. Shit. Ha! Watch out. It was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Mm. Right. Well. We think he might be. We're all just notches on his murder belt, after all. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Hmm. Have you had to keep quiet about anything? Any secrets you've had to keep? What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know. I mean, it could be that you've seen something or heard something. <gasps> I never saw anything. And even if I did, what would that matter? And, and it was years ago. You okay? Sandra? Are you okay? It was years ago. We know, Sandra. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't close my studio. I keep, do you understand? Why do I keep missing that? Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. Of course. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? Right? Right? I'm sorry. 